Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about Jesse Pugliarvi and if he'll get traded this offseason. Now, Jesse Pugliarvi underwent surgery on both hips, pretty much ending his NHL season. So, should Edmonton pull the plug on him, and will he be traded this offseason? Watch till the end to find out. Now, Jesse Pugliarvi's career so far with Edmonton has not been successful, to say the least. The former fourth overall pick back in 2016 is showing signs of being a potential bust, and that's just two years into his North American career. Now, quickly after he was drafted in the 2016 NHL draft, Jesse Pugliarvi was playing in the NHL as an 18-year-old, playing in the 16-17 season for the Edmonton Oilers. He was rushed and ended up playing 28 games that season, had a pretty solid 8 points for how young he was, but it was the first big mistake for the Edmonton Oilers in a long list of mistakes going to Jesse Pugliarvi. Now, last season was a pretty great one for Jesse Pugliarvi. He ended up playing 65 games in the NHL. He got 20 points, 12 goals. It was looking like he was starting to finally adapt to the NHL game. And while he wasn't an everyday contributor, he was starting to look more and more impressive in the NHL and started to really feel like he belonged there, which was the big thing that he really didn't have in his rookie year. But that year was kind of a progressor for Jesse Pugliarvi to start to learn a little bit more English as well, to start transitioning into that North American game. And he definitely did. And coming into this season, a lot of people were expecting him to really break out and become that everyday player that Edmonton drafted him as. And this year was looked at as a year that Jesse Pugliarvi could fix some of Edmonton's depth issues. Guys like Kaylor Yamamoto were also pegged to be mainstays on the everyday roster. But when it came to Jesse Pugliarvi, he did play quite a few NHL games this year, but was not able to find that consistency, nor the ice time to really improve. This season, he's played 46 games at this point, getting four goals, five assists for nine points. He played four NHL games as well, got, getting four points in those games. But when it came to this season, you couldn't really have gotten more disastrous for for him, and of course the big injury that ended the season is the big thing to note. Now, as I said before, Jesse Pugliarvi got surgery on both of his hips, which is just catastrophic for a player that young. And while he can heal from it, it's going to be a big, big uh, adversity when it comes to his career. Both hips are kind of unheard of to get surgery. We've had, seen a lot of NHL players getting one hip broken, they get surgery on that, and then come back the next year. But both hips is very, very concerning. Now, when it comes to his time uh, that he'll come back in, he will be back for next training camp next season. But that is a pretty bad injury for a guy that needed that offseason to really train and build and prepare his body for the NHL game. Now, with that devastating injury, those two hips having to get surgery, with Edmonton mishandling him over the last couple of years, I think Jesse Pugliarfi could be traded as soon as this offseason. Now, Jesse Pugliarvi oozes potential. He's only 20 years of age. If anything, if he's fully developed, he is exactly what Edmonton needs right now. But when it comes to Jesse Pugliarvi, Edmonton has seriously mishandled him when it comes to call-ups, when it comes to sending down him. They just do it all at the wrong time, pretty much. And he's been severely mishandled in Edmonton. He could be a way faster developed by now if he was still in the AHL. But at this point, he's seeming like a bad fit for Edmonton. And the Edmonton Oilers, I think, are almost ready to give him up, even at age 20. But this situation is just super hilarious because I could see Edmonton fully being on board of training a guy like Jesse Pugliarvi, but at the same time, if he's NHL ready, he is exactly what Edmonton needs right now. They do not have youthful, fast, speedy wingers that have a ton of talent, and that is exactly what Jesse Pugliarvi brings. He hasn't had the greatest season, obviously, in the NHL uh, so far, and his season is done, but when it comes to players that Edmonton needs now and in the future, Jesse Pugliarvi is exactly what they need, and right now, it seems like they might trade him. Now, there is a ton of contention between Jesse Pugliarvi, his agent, and the Edmonton Oilers. It really is a very big mess right now. When it comes to Jesse Pugliarvi, when it comes to the Edmonton Oilers, I think they all know that the best decision is to have him in the AHL, to get him first-line minutes in there, and get him get his confidence up. I feel like that's the best thing for him and for Jesse Pugliarvi's future. But when it comes to his agent, he is the main thing that is preventing Jesse Pugliarvi from becoming Jesse Pugliarvi. When it comes to his agent, he does not want him in the AHL. 
whatsoever. He wants him in the NHL and getting time. And it is respectable. I do see where he's coming from. But if we're trying to get Jesse Bouliarvi to where he was pegged to be, that dominant first line guy, first line winger, I think he has to play some valuable time in the AHL that he just has not gotten in the last couple of years. Let's just look at the last couple of years where at age 20, he has only played 14 games in the AHL, 10 last season and four this season. And for a prospect that obviously needs that AHL time, needs that confidence, he had some great stints in the AHL when he played there. I mean, this season, four games, I uh, got four points, two goals, two assists. Obviously, if he continued there, he would get some confidence up. He would really grow his overall game in the AHL. And I feel like that's the best thing for Jesse Pugliarvi. But right now, that agent is kind of blocking that from happening. And they're threatening of maybe sending a trade over if they keep him in the AHL. And that's a scary thing for the Edmonton Oilers that they're always having to keep up on. But that's something that kind of is a bad situation for Jesse Pugliarvi and the Edmonton Oilers because right now, they're kind of stuck. And to make this situation even more hectic and even more crazy, Jesse Pugliarvi will be an RFA after this season, which means that everything, everything that's come together in the last couple of months, the constant trade talks, the constant negotiations, the agent saying that he doesn't want to play in the AHL, and all the things that have been happening with Jesse Pugliarvi and all the drama surrounding it will all come together in the offseason when they have to decide on a contract or potential trade. I mean, when it comes to Jesse Pugliarvi, we have heard trade talks. In the last year, we've heard a ton of trade rumors surrounding him. But when it comes to the whole RFA sequence, it's going to be something to definitely watch, and he's going to be one of the most interesting RFAs this season just because of everything and all the trade talks surrounding him. Now, I think a big candidate for Jesse Pugliarvi will be the Minnesota Wild in the offseason, and I've created a little bit of a mock trade for a potential Minnesota and Edmonton trade involving Jesse Pugliarvi, and when it comes to what Minnesota gets in that deal, they would get Jesse Pugliarvi, Tobias Ryder, uh, Benning, and Petrovic, and going back to the Edmonton Oilers would be Jason Zucker and Jonas Brodeen, both guys having 50% retained on their deal, and that will be a huge deal for both teams. When it comes to Minnesota, I I think it does make sense for them. They're trying to get younger. They're trying to get some more assets. You could flip a guy like Petrovic. You could flip a guy like Tobias Ryder and get even more picks and more prospects ahead of that. And I feel like that's what Minnesota should be doing. And if they got a guy like Jesse Pugliarvi, he could fit quite perfectly. We've already seen Donato, who came in through the coil of trade, already played well in Minnesota. They have a little bit of a track record of developing prospects as well. So I wouldn't worry if he actually went to Minnesota. And I think Pugliarvi will be just fine in that situation. Meanwhile, for the Edmonton Oilers, at the first place, I don't think trading Jesse Pugliarvi is a smart move whatsoever, but if they were going to trade him, I think a guy like Jason Zucker would be a great fit in Edmonton right now. While he's not a few depth forwards that they might need, Jason Zucker is an excellent top five or top six guy that could factor into their first line. Play with a guy like Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl, I think that will work quite well for him, but Edmonton obviously needs more forwards that can score. Alex Chason is not going to replicate that next season, so so a guy like Jason Zucker will likely replace that and more. And he has a ton of talent and is still, I think, 27. So Edmonton can fit that also. And when it comes to Brodeen, he will be a definite solid defenseman. Maybe not a top four guy for them, but still pretty solid. But when it comes to mock trades and what Jesse Pugliarvi might get back, if a trade actually ends up happening, it's going to be really interesting to see what Edmonton gets back for him. Because right now, I think it's pretty hard to judge his trade value. Right now, again, he has been struggling. He has been struggling in the NHL kind of struggling in the AHL to an extent, but when it comes to potential teams that would want him, it's kind of up in the air right now because I could see some teams being super low on him saying, oh, his NHL performance is not good whatsoever. We expect better from him. And there might be some teams saying that, hey, he could turn into a fantastic player if we develop him right. So I think it will depend on the team and what Edmonton gets back for him, but a Jesse Pugliarvi trade could be one of the most interesting we've seen in quite a while. And while Jesse Pugliarvi being traded would be insanely stupid for the Edmonton Oilers, I really wouldn't put him past him at this point. I mean, we've seen the stupid moves that they have made just in the last few years, trading Hall, trading the Everly, trading the picks that would become Bavillier and Matthew Barzal, signing Milan Lucic, signing Chris Russell to that extension. It really has been a perfect storm for the Edmonton Oilers and a non-perfect storm for them, just dumb move after dumb move. And if they trade a guy like Jesse Pugliarvi, I don't see it working out for them because of how many bad moves they made in the past. 
And while Peter Shirley is not the GM anymore, thankfully, I am not exactly trusting Keith Gretzky to handle this Pugliarvi situation greatly. When it comes to Jesse Pugliarvi, he's still 20 years old, he still has a ton of talent in the NHL that a team training for him could really benefit from. But when it comes to Keith Gretzky, we still don't know if he's going to be the actual GM of the future for the Edmonton Oilers. I don't think that's going to happen. But a situation as close and dense and important as Jesse Pugliarvi is one that I honestly don't trust the Edmonton Oilers with. And let's just say, for dramatic effect, that the Edmonton Oilers miss the playoffs, which, let's be honest, is going to happen this season. Imagine how desperate that franchise will be after missing the playoffs two straight years to make a big impact and to do something with their team. Some questions have been they're not doing enough with the team to make it better. And they've tried stuff like that in the past. Training Hall, they thought it was going to make their team better. It obviously did not in the end. But all these moves have been just a conglomerate of just bad move after bad move for the Edmonton Oilers. And a guy like Jesse Pugliarvi is a guy that you do not mistake with. He's a guy that you do not trade whatsoever. But right now, it's looking like they will actually. And if you would have said that two years ago, I would have thought you were crazy. It would have seemed like he was going on the right track with the Edmonton Oilers. But it's just been dumpster fire management after dust, dumpster fire management. And for the Edmonton Oilers, again, I just don't trust them to make the good move here. But Jesse Pugliarvi is one of my favorite players on the Edmonton Oilers. It's been that way for a long time. He just has a bombastic character about him, always sticking out his tongue, always doing crazy stuff on the ice and on the bench. He's just a fun guy to watch and be around, and he's a guy that the Edmonton Oilers kind of need. They need that colorful, funny personality. He brings that. He brings the talents, but I think he will get traded, and that's a sad thing, and I do wish him a lot of success because I want to see him in the NHL. I want to see that kind of guy and that kind of personality have a lot of success, and I want to see that with the Amazon Oilers or some other team. But Jesse Pugliarvi is a guy that he and she should stay in Edmonton. Edmonton should do as much as they can to keep him. Still 20 years old, still has a ton of talents, and will be a force in the AHL to be reckoned with. But he's a guy that Edmonton has traded in the past, and he's the type of player that they will trade now. And he's a guy that Edmonton will make the mistake of trading once again. But if I had to say which more outcome is more likely than the other, honestly, I see him getting traded this offseason. And for me personally, I wish he would get traded so some other team can finally develop him the way that he should have been developed all along. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know, what do you think about Jesse Pugliarvi's situation with the Oilers? Do you see him staying with the Edmonton Oilers, or do you see him leaving in a trade? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video about Jack Hughes and Quinn Hughes and they both were Vancouver Canucks. But that is going it for today, guys. If you guys didn't enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on this Pooley RV situation and if it'll get traded or not. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.